Shalom, all praise the Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Rukaka Dash, the one to the apostles at Great Millstone. Salute to the brothers out there teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Um, right, so as you can see on the screen, it says Law explained as buses start microchipping UK staff. We're going to read into it. So this is an update. This is um, uh, this is a. Uh, well, this article come out to, uh, today, right? Well, or yesterday, and uh, you know, nineteenth of November. Funny enough, at eleven forty-four. <laughs> anyway, it says um, it says the confed. So I'm gonna just read into this and see what we got because I haven't read it yet. But let me just read some. Um, Confederation of British Industry expresses concerns as growing number of employees. Employers microchip staff sparking fears it could soon become common place. So they've so they've pretty much started to chip um they've pretty much started to chip the employees. Now obviously it's not um fucking um happening everywhere like all over, but they're doing this in certain companies or whatever. Or well, there's a certain amount of number of people chipped. And um, that's the prophecy of the mark of the beast, the end times, man. You know, you got to get with it, man. It says, uh, microchipping worker might like the stuff of science fiction, but it's already here in the UK, and there are fears this could become a common business practice in the near future. So guess what? It is going to become a common business practice because it's the agenda of the, the Rothschilds Rockefellers. That's who it's the agenda of. Them guys. You know, Revelations, the 13th chapter, to put a, mi a micro NFC device in people's foreheads and in their hands. Okay. It says, <clears throat> the Confederation of British Industries has expressed its concerns over the growing number of employees Choosing to microchip their staff, which enables them to check into work, log onto computers, and open security doors with a wave of a hand. Although the UK legal system remains unchallenged in this regard, there are a number of considerations for employees to keep in mind. So they're doing it. So you've got people getting chipped in this workplace, in these workplaces. Um. You know, so that's what's going on, man. Uh, then they're talking about the legalities of of it, but people are getting chipped, and for you, oh no, blah blah blah. Well, you're gonna get chipped. He says, even where microchipping is optional, employers should avoid situations where staff are instructed or pressured to comply, as this could potentially lead to resignations. And subsequent claims of construct, constructive unfair dismissal. There may be also religious or other non personal beliefs to consider that prohibit the implementation of microchips. So remember, the Bible says that you ain't going to be able to buy or sell whether you got it. So you know what that means? They're going to make people want to get it. Look at the advancements, look at the tech. You know, most of the zombies out there, they're just going to be saying, they're going to be accepting it, man. I can play my PS2. Or whatever fucking consoles out there. I can play that. And I don't even you know, I don't even have to press it by the button. You know, whatever the how, you know, little I, I can get in my car by swipe of the hand if you're in prison, I can get e extra early leave, I just gotta get chipped. Cause people take the tags off. Their wrists and stuff like that. So this if and if and if you can't eat and you're locked out of the system which is that's the level it's going to get to what do you think people are going to do man because they, they don't trust in your they don't trust in the ultimate spirit bro you know and, and his son and that they don't trust in that they trust in themselves okay it says in the event that employers do agree to be microchipped there is the question of who pays for the chip given the government's recent crackdown on national minimum wage offenders it is advisable for employers to foot the bill themselves Therefore, avoiding any scenario of subsequent wage deductions taking place. Um, anyway, whatever, that's just, you know, that's just whatever. But like I said, people are taking this. 
And um, um, you know, that's what it is. It's, so they're having discussions. So basically, they, they're having discussions. Cause let me read this. It says, there is also discussion to be had around what happens to the chip when employers leave the business. Well, if everywhere regulates this, then you won't have to worry about that. You know, that's pretty much what they're going to say. So they're gonna they're pushing this they're gonna push this in even a higher level because there's people right now traveling and boarding trains. It's like they're basically saying you either get with the wave or you get left out. But they're not telling you it's in the mark of the beast. Now they put an RT the other day that it's the mark of the beast because a lot of people are raising up the concern. So if you're an Israelite and you're not teaching that it's the mark of the beast, you got some serious issues, bro. You know, getting married and having boat parties and all that is just it's just not the real serious fucking aspects of this knowledge, is it? Okay, so so that's that. So I mean the title caught me with this one. UK law explained as buses start microchipping UK staff. Now what I'm gonna do is um get the to get the scripture on that. Revelation, um, that's <laughs> Revelation thirteen sixteen, and he calls with all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his of his name. And we bring this out all the time, and we're we're in that time, bro. We're, this is the end. We're in the end of days, and these prophecies are, are, are like coming out like wildfire. So it's about time that you start taking these prophecies serious because once it really kicks off and you ain't, you didn't you denied the, the, the Lord and all that it's going to be too late for you then. See now's the time to, to, to get into this or to, to take heed because a lot of you people are not going to know what to do you're not going to have no faith you don't you know. Real shit. Let me see what the comments are saying. Hey look armchair expert no consent no microchipping you cannot enforce such an action under a threat of a job loss to satisfy the made up security concern well he's just saying that but guess what what if every company now decides which they're going to do you got to get chipped what are you going to do then see and for the Israelites like the pastors always say that you know basically you're going to have to pretty much go off the grid or you know whether you get brought to a camp or you know whatever the case is man You know, so, you know, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on out there. And, you know, this is serious, man. Serious business. So it's about time. It's about fucking time, okay, that you Israelites start taking these prophecies serious. You know, because that is the agenda of the elites, is it not? Um, whoopsie daisy. We just read it, we just read it. That's the new beast. And we just fucking read it. Sorry for my French, man. Uh, Joel 5 and 11. He did disappoint, disappoint if the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And we just read what, like, this man's enterprise is. Fucking getting you chipped. With, you know, with an implantable device in any of your hands. You left your right hand in your brain, you got brain chips to help people, blind people see and to make people walk, bro. Like, they got limbs missing. Like, this is real, this is real shit. This is real spit, man. They've already started getting people microchipped now. And all them people that are microchipped according to the Bible, what does it say? Revelation 4, uh, 14th chapter goes into that. It goes into the fact that they're going to be burnt in the presence of the Lord and the holy angels. And what does that mean? That means that the Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to be in them ships in what you call the UFOs. Going to be in the chariots and the ships. 
and they're gonna be shooting lasers, man, on the planet. Well, and the nukes are gonna hit. So the Earth, you're gonna have places on the, like America, for example. That place is known as a lake. Of, it's gonna look like a lake, a lake of fire. So you you're not gonna want to be in America. You really you want to really be in the ships. You're gonna have parts of Europe hit with missiles. Israel and other parts of Europe. You know, so a lot of people are gonna get nuked on the planet. You know. Um. And that's that. So uh, anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom, man. I think I got the point out with this. Uh, law explain as buses start market microchip in UK stuff. And by the way, this is this is uh, coming all over the world. This is already happening in you know different countries, right as we speak. Sweden, here and there. Even they was pushing it in an American company, but they're gonna start pushing it very hard. They're pushing cashless in third world countries. You know, Esau and it's got them smart cities and stuff. Esau's really pushing this. If you really look at what's going on on the planet. You know, 5G, internet of things, new technology, just th this is the way that they're going. So, you know, g get fucking up to speed with it, man. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom.